What's up guys? Your boy Farwell and today I'm bringing you a commentary on um, a little bit of a topic that I've started noticing in my own ability to play video games at the moment and that is that as you get better at a game it becomes less enjoyable and that may seem absolutely ridiculous but if, if you're in my position you know where I'm coming from when you when you start playing a game you, you, your ex expectations or any video game your expect expectations are low you don't accept, expect yourself to do well and if you do you're an idiot because you're never going to do well like that you need to practice and when you first start the game you don't have a care in the world you just want to have fun and I'm not saying that I don't have fun playing games now I'm just saying I don't have as much fun as I used to and that, that there are a number of reasons for this um, first of all when you're when you've just started and you're a noob at the game you don't know what you're doing you, you don't you don't actually care about the result you don't care about your teammates you don't you don't care about what they what other people were thinking you don't care about your how your moves impact the game however they, they obviously do but you think about that more when you're better when you're worse all you care about is just having fun and just getting into a game and, and playing for fun now also when you're younger uh, younger when you're um, not as good at video games you're less reliant on teammates it sounds ridiculous but you don't care about your teammates in when you're bad because you, you just you just don't you just feel like you feel like that you, you're a lone wolf and this is like you can take on the whole team you feel you're naive and you can you can do that sort of thing however when you're better and you feel like you, you keep on blaming your teammates whereas when you're not as good you laugh at your teammates you laugh oh how didn't he get that whereas now you just shout on me I just shout at him I'm like what are you doing and it, it's just it just like just drains you to see a teammate just be an absolute idiot and especially with Halo 5 beta which has just finished teammates are so so important it's unbelievable it's actually devastating the power of team the team shot is real in the Halo 5 beta and you you, you start to pin the blame blame you you start to pin the blame on your teammates you start to pin the blame on the map the weapon something else other than yourself when sometimes you have to accept that you're not as you made a mistake there you made a mistake but even so that still does not help the issue does it because you get when you're better at a game you know you can if you have a bad game you know you can do better because you, you've seen yourself do better you've you felt yourself do better when you're on your game you know you're on your game when you're hitting four shot after four shot after four shot you know that it is your game um, and no one's going to take away from the fact that you are the MVP. You are the most wanted. And but when you when you have a bad game, it let, and you you try and pin the blame, but in the end you just realise it's yourself. You get frustrated because you realise that you can do better. And but when you're bad, you you don't get that frustration because you realise that despite you you doing that bad game. The next game is always going to be better because you're at a level where it doesn't matter how good or bad you are. Um, and also, if you've had game, if you have uh, experience in other video games, that you're you feel that you are a prestiged warrior in that sort of game, you're going to take that pedigree into the new game, and you're going to feel that right off the bat you're going to have to do amazing. And this is how I felt going into MCC. I was like, man, I've got to get a 2.0 KD. I have to get that. At the start, I was doing amazing. I was getting it. But then, of course, you have the two bad games. And then all of a sudden, it's gone. It's gone. Just a couple of bad games, and you're not looking at that anymore. You're looking at 1.5. And you're frustrated. You're frustrated at your teammates. You're frustrated at yourself. And, of course, when you're frustrated... You, you want I strive to improve when I'm frustrated however it's not the right thing to do when you're frustrated you should just take a sit back look look yourself look at yourself and think okay I'm not in the right frame of mind to be playing this because when you're frustrated you make rash decisions 
and when you make rash decisions, it's just a, it's just an infinite cycle. You being unable to capitalize on the game, and just overall, just as you're better, you just get less and less fun. Going back to how uh, it used to be fun. Well, this look, take Halo 5 Beta for example, you couldn't have a relaxing game. Every game was a challenge, and every ga because of the way the ranking worked, because you ha you played for your rank every single game, and you could go down minus 80 points in one game if you failed to win. And th that is something that, you, as a player, as a competitive player, you, you can't have a relaxing game when your rank matters because I know they were wiped but still I felt that I had to win every single game whereas when you're not as good and your ranks perhaps a lot lower you, you don't care do you because you're in a band of group of people that don't care either basically what I'm trying to get at is as you get better a game at a game it becomes less fun because you become frustrated with yourself because you know you can do better you know you can do better after you have one or two bad games and you just lose all concentration. Anyway guys, it's been your boy Farwell Kid. Like, subscribe, Twitter and Twitch. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.